Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a crystal opening. I'm going to be opening some Greater Banquet Crystals and the rank rewards from the Solo and the Alliance event. I'm going to talk about those when we get there, but I want to take this moment to say a massive, massive thank you to every single one of you for subscribing. I recently hit 500 subs and I was waiting for these to come out, these uh, rank rewards to come out just so that I could do something a little bit special with the uh, solo event rank rewards. Uh, I didn't record all of the Greater Banquet Crystals that I opened just because I wasn't really planning on doing something like this, but I thought I could have some fun with it, so that's why I ended up deciding on it. The f I didn't get that much great stuff out of the, the Banquet Crystals. They weren't amazing in my opinion, like, you could get really lucky with some of them. But then you also get, like, 600,000 scrap. It's, it's very hit and miss, and I wasn't a fan of it. But I wanted to go... I wanted to try and push for at least top 1-3%. to 3%, Just so that I could get a 3-4 to 4 rank up gem. And then whatever class that rank well, that lands on, I'll be able to do kind of a, a poll on YouTube just so that you guys can vote for who I take up next out of five champs. Now, with that, I am going to choose which five I put in, but there will be some interesting ones. So, not all of them are going to be top tier. It's more going to be who I, like five champs out of each class that I'd want to rank up. But also I think could provide some interesting content potentially. Say if I were to rank up champs specifically for Battlegrounds, if you guys want to see more Battlegrounds content or you still want to see me use certain champs in Battlegrounds then vote for those. Or if you just want to see me have a complete dud of a rank 4, you can vote for them too. It's completely, completely optional. So I think I think I've got a couple more of these Banquet Crystals. I can't remember getting too lucky with them. Yeah, this... The, I didn't get much great out of this. I see 650,000 scrap from 10 crystals. Yeah, that, that was absurd. Anyway, as an alliance, we placed in the top 1-5%. to 5%. I can't remember the score we put up, but those rewards are pretty nice. But these are the big ones. I was not expecting in the slightest to place top 5,000. I was fully prepared for 1-3%, to 3%, but I managed to just sneak into top 5,000 so that this means I'll be able to put two polls up, which means you guys are going to be able to choose my next two rank 4s. And with the crystals that are going to be coming up, this will be very interesting. So, I open a featured here just because I have the shards too. I'm still hunting Quicksilver for prestige potentially. And I end up getting OG Thor. This is pretty good. I'm happy with it just because he is fun. And if I do eventually decide to sig him up one day, I might even include him in the, uh, in the poll if I end up pulling Cosmic. Who knows? Uh, another really good thing is that I end up getting a 5 star relic which is pretty huge for me just because I don't have that many of them and they are pretty important for prestige and since we're pushing AQ for at least top 45 it's pretty important that I'm, I'm keeping up and if I can't do it through champs the best way for me to do it is through relics so I spin this one out. I think I've opened four of these and they've all been tech. I've got two visions and a Hulk Buster. And a five star Ant Man relic is a massive win for me because I really enjoy Spider Ham. So I'm going to put that relic straight on him and that's going to make him even more cracked than he already is. Uh, I end up opening these six stones first. These are pretty nice, especially as many as we've got, because 
it doesn't force me to use generics on champs I don't want to use. I can just use the class ones. And it, like a nice even spread would be nice, around 20 of each, maybe. Or just over. Even just over, I wouldn't mind. And I clicked off way too quickly for you even to see what I end up getting. Anyway, these Nexus Crystals, I am just hoping for Quicksilver from here, just because of Prestige. A Toad Awakening is very, very nice. That will likely be a rank 3 at least for Battlegrounds. A Saur on here, that's... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan, but it's new. OG Storm or Ebony Moor Awakening. I... I've, I've, I mean, I've got an influx of Mystic Gems, so Storm's probably going to be the best one there. Arcus Sigs, Kingpin Sigs. I think Arcus, just because of the... Um, the extra tenacity chance. And the last one is pretty bad. And just going Doctor Strange here. Just because he, he might get a buff in the future, who knows. Anyways, so onto these three to four gems. As, as I say, as just a, a big thank you for 500 subscribers, I'm going to let you guys choose my next two rank fours through these gems. Now, some of the choices might might surprise you, but we'll, we'll get to that when I, I actually put the polls up. So this first crystal here is going to land on a mutant gem. That That's interesting. I've... Some of the champs that I was considering taking up, uh, they can do some very good stuff in Battlegrounds, but some of them are just pretty much there for the sake of being there and for the sake of a subtle flex, in a way. And a Cosmic Gem. When I put the poll up, I think I already know who's going to win this one, but I will leave it there for now. And also, just as a, as a surprise little thing at the end, I did take someone else to rank 4, and that was Blade. Well, that'll do for me for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.